Go ahead, misunderstood. So everything you said is correct regarding any real woman who knows her worth and is interested in you, she will enjoy anywhere you take her. And she should not be impressed by your money. So I live in California, so we have a lot of wineries. We have beaches. We have the olive oil tasting. We, there's a lot of things that men can do that is inexpensive that will impress a woman. If you live in a city where you don't have these things, then I advise you as a woman to go to your local city, as, as Black Jesus said, and do what tourists do who come to your city. And then because most people they don't even take the time out to go to these small little intimate places. And then you will impress her that way. Exactly. You shouldn't have Perfect. to do all of this work because understand as soon as you approached her and she gave you her number, she was already interested in you. Similar to what the video said. If she wasn't attracted to you, if she she wouldn't let she, a she wouldn't give you her number. B her thoughts about having sex with you that is genuine. Okay, so don't. Most women are really basic, and the ones who want who want to be in quote unquote quote unquote your pockets, those are the ones that you want to stay away from. Those are unfortunately. As Black Jesus has said and Noble has said all during this life, those are the 304s because they're looking for a quick come up. And and I do not encourage that for anybody. It's not it's not a good place to be when you really do start to have feelings for this individual and to know that they used you, they played you, however your terminology is going to be. It's not right. So just know who you are and know your worth and set your boundaries and stand 10 toes on that. And, and women, do not give up this whole thought about courting. Dating is not in the Bible. It's not. If you want, if you want something permanent, stop entertaining temporary people. Because even though you may... I mean, unfortunately, Noble has said it and Black Jesus has said it. These are men that are saying if they're not interested in you and if you give off that vibe, they will hit it and quit it. Right. So you need you need to use your own discernment when it comes down to vetting men. Uh, Enum, Enum, go ahead. Enum, go ahead and ask your question real quick, and then I am going to give uh, my girl Terrell the floor. All right, this is going to be a funny question. Uh, um, I, I've been out the game for a good time. Um, I just need a little advice. I know, um, Black Jesus, he's gonna, um, he's gonna big brother me. Oh uh, God! But um, so basically, my question is, um, what does it mean if like? A woman tells you to pull up to her crib. Right now, I've been out the game. I'm not digging. You've been out the game 15 months. Uh, 15 months, exactly. Been out the game. I haven't been casually doing nothing. Um, my dick been in my pants for a minute. Uh, I ain't been sliding in nothing. I've been chilling. I'm not trying to do nothing. I'm trying to be easy. So I'm just trying to find out. This one of my friends I knew for a while, you know, but she's telling me pull up uh, like to a crib. On um, Thanksgiving, should I, I? I'm still trying to be celibate. So tell me, tell me what y'all what y'all think in the chats. What y'all think I should do, or in the panel, what y'all think I should do is up to y'all. I just want Marty, to Marty, answer, Marty, yeah. Marty, answer his question. Marty, answer his question in eighty seconds because I gotta let. Right, so did you? Right. Did you? <laughs> she's saying she's saying come over for Thanksgiving dinner or on Thanksgiving night after dinner. Well, it's not. Well, she basically she just she didn't say the night or day or whatever. She just said pull up on Thanksgiving. 
All right. So if she invited you over for Thanksgiving dinner, that might just be because she a kind soul and she don't think you got no place to go where you're going to get a warm meal. And this might just be a friend of yours. That's a good person. If she telling you to come after Thanksgiving dinner, after the turkey and the wine done set in, then that means she might want you to pull up, you know, so you can smash. You know what I'm saying? So we, this is what we both I, vegan though. What you say? We both plant based. We don't, ain't gonna be no turkey. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, no problem. That's just you know, but that that's just an assumption. Is she having people over and cooking Thanksgiving dinner? I doubt it. Okay, well then she may not want to be alone for the holiday, and so she might be pulling asking you to come over for that. Does she know that you're trying to be celibate? I, I mentioned it plenty of times. Okay, so she know that y'all trying to be celibate. All right. Well, listen, man. If it was me, and uh, it, it and this is a woman that you want to smash, like physically, you want to smash, even though you're being celibate. Uh, nah, I'm I'm not looking at any woman like that right now. Okay, but she is sexually attractive to you. Is that correct? Oh yeah, she got the yams. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, then, man, listen, you got to play that shit with caution, because for men, the best way that we do to keep from smashing shit we ain't supposed to smash is to not put ourselves in smashable situations because the flesh is weak, my nigga. So if, if you want my opinion, then I wouldn't roll up over there if it was a late night move. If we was the only people that was going to be there and ain't nobody else coming, if she ain't cooking or this, that and the third, I'd be like, no, nah, let's hook up during the day on a Saturday, try to keep it to day dates and hangouts with her if she's trying to get it in, if she don't respect what you're trying to do for yourself. Because I'm going to tell you something. I do a sexual fast every year for 30 days and all the freaks come out the woodwork during that fast because they know I'm fasting and they're trying to get me to cheat on Jesus and, and you know, take them to pound town. So, you know, she might just want want you to hit it to see if she can get you to break your fast, man. Women really be out here moving like that, believe it or not. So, I know, I see, but all right, yeah, appreciate you. Y'all, please go ahead and mute up for me. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it is 5 13 a.m. Central Standard Time. I have 350 people in here right now. Y'all need to get the likes up to 62k likes by 5 21 a.m. Y'all got eight minutes to get the likes up to 62k likes, otherwise. I'm not only going to turn the comments off, I'm going to end the live. Do not play with me. Taro, the floor is yours. Please go ahead and unmute. Thank you for being so patient. Listen, to all my moderators, y'all been in here working tonight. I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank you to everyone that's been on the panel here tonight. Thank you to everyone that's been participating in the chat, whether you've been positive, whether you've been negative. Listen, like I always tell y'all, whether you come here to support me, whether you come here to be negative and hate, whether you come here to be a ghost watcher, y'all all help me build this platform, okay? So I appreciate y'all. Get the likes up to 62K likes before 5.21 a.m. Otherwise, I'm going to end the live. Uh, Terrell, go ahead and unmute, Terrell. You got the floor, Terrell. Talk for 10, 15 minutes if you want to. All right. Thank you so much, Noble, for having me. Um, so I wanted to just say, well, two parts. One Whenever the men are speaking, yeah, we, we, the majority of women listen to what you lot are saying. But when we're telling you how we're seeing these bad boys, you lot is giving us statistics or you're giving us like the factual reasons why the quote unquote square guy is a better pick. We know he's a better pick. We're just relaying to you why it is women gravitate to them type of woman. You understand what I mean? So it's been like, because I feel like, you know, Zaria and Miss Underst Understood have been saying, and the other woman who was on here, have been saying why it is women gravitate to the men. We're not saying they should. We're just explaining the reasoning behind it. We understand that, yeah, you know what? The better pick is the guy who, you know, has got his life together. He's working on himself. He's hustling and whatever. But a lot of women, especially if they're out living their best life, they, they're they not looking in any specific direction. The men they're going to go for are the men who's chasing them. You know what I mean? It's the men who's chasing them. They're not looking for a man who's got any specifics at that time. So it's not because we're not hearing what you're saying. We're hearing you. We're just saying that the bad boys, they got the rah-rah. 
I don't know how to explain it. The bad boys just have a suave that the women like. And the women gravitate toward it. So what the woman said in the video is true. You're not going to be with somebody you're not sexually attracted to or even physically attracted to. And the bad boys know how to get that out of girl. They just know how to get out of girl. Like a guy who's a quote unquote square can be a little bit, not really, it's not about respect, yeah. It's just, I think it's a confidence thing. So that guy, a guy who's a square, you know, working on himself and going to the job and whatnot, can give across um, a little bit of a, a soft vibe. Whereas them, and I'm not talking about the thugs, because nobody loves Ladarius and them boys. We're not talking about them. We're talking about, the, we're talking about the ones in the middle, you know. <laughs> We're talking about the ones in the middle, you know what I mean? It's bad, but, you know, got a little bit of edge and whatever. Yeah, them boys. Those ones can get girls, even if these on the couch just playing the game, simply because of the suave and the confidence. So I feel like the squares can learn a little bit from these boys and see what is they doing that the girls respond so well. Maybe up your game a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm not saying the girls need to move to them. I'm just saying maybe you can look and see what is it about this man's confidence that is calling the girls this way? You know? Because when that boy talks to the girls, yeah, I mean... Girl, I'll say this. Look, I'll say this. Don't get it wrong. Like, I've said this before, but I, I say the same thing all the time. Listen, there's these square... There's, there's squares and there's corporate guys. Like, let me just not say corporate. There's squares that, like, yeah, in high school... He ain't go to the Sadie Hawkins dance. He never went to homecoming dance. He ain't go to prom. Like he's just he was just like that socially awkward dude, right? Like he was he did well in school or whatever. He went to college, he got a degree, he got a little corporate job now, but he be make he be he may be making a little change, but he's still socially awkward. And you mm -hmm. know, that's that's not something that, you know, that's something that's something that they have to work on. So when I be talking about these squares and stuff. Like I said, a lot of these women automatically associate the square with like being lame. All I'm be trying to say is that not every square is a lame. Not every square is socially awkward. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not that guy. Like, I've never been that guy. But like I said, I can acknowledge that that guy exists. And for those guys, yes, they do need to like, they do need to go. They do need to like take after these guys. Like, listen, these guys that be watching like, you know, these Fresh and Fit podcasts and stuff. These are these guys, you know what I'm saying, Terrell? These are these guys that like, yeah. really like are, these are the guys that are buying dating courses and stuff. Yeah. Like, that. like a guy, a guy that a guy that's like had motion with women before, a guy that can walk into a room and talk to like women and stuff and not come off awkward. He's not like all in tune with that stuff. He's not buying dating courses, how to how to how to court on Instagram and stuff like that. But these guys are. And like I can't, I, you know, I can't help them guys. I don't know what to say to them. Yeah, they need they need some work, you know. And um, I don't know. I, I I never been that guy, so I can't I can't even say what they need to do. But yeah, those guys those guys definitely exist, and I can understand. Even though I'm not a woman, I can understand why a woman would still prefer, you know, Ladarius and Keontae and them over him. Absolutely. But you know, when you got a square like Ernie and Earl and Chuck and Larry and Sam and Eric. And these dudes are, these dudes are not squares. Like, these dudes are not lames. Like these dudes will go out when they feel like it. You know, um, these dudes have their car paid off. You know what I'm saying? Um, these, these dudes have somewhere between 50 and a hundred thousand dollars in their bank account. <laughs> these dudes, these dudes are financially stable. Like <laughs> these dudes, these dudes have stamps on a passport. Like you gonna choose you gonna choose Ladarius and Keontae and Davion and and them like I said Davion 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 you don't know if he's gonna be here on Thanksgiving and when I say be here you don't know if he might if he gonna be free or you don't know if he's gonna be alive like but you rather choose him over this other guy like I don't I don't know I don't I'm just know. saying though no, well let, let me let me tell you yeah the way Ladarius approaches and the way Chuck approaches is different and that's way it is 
Do you understand what I mean? It's just a confidence thing. And I'm not excusing it and, ex- like, saying the girls need to go with Ladarius or whatever. I'm just letting you guys know this is why. Them boys just have the... No, Carol, so I like, I, listen, I'm not a woman. So, like, even though, like I said, I'm cool with Ladarius and, and Darius and Davion and Keontae and Jamate, and I grew up with them, and those are my boys. <laughs> but, like, how they talk to me... I can't. I don't know. I don't know how they come across when they're approaching a woman. So I understand what you're saying. Like, so check this out. If I go into a strip club and I'm raw dogging strippers, one of them gets pregnant and she's a bad mother. Then I don't get to lay that she's a bad mother at the feet of black women in general. I can't be like, hey, you know, black women ain't shit. Look at my baby mama. And I was in the club raw dogging strippers. So if you guys like bad boys because they got something that you like and you can't think about your life across the span of your life and think about your future and your decision making like the lame dude does or the square guy does or whatever, because he's making long he's making short term movements on his long term plans, then you get what you get. And what you get is a man who who hasn't made long term movements. And you can't complain about the fact that men who made long term movements don't want short term thinking women who got a whole bunch of short term consequences. And then you want to bring that into a man's life who set himself up. I see a lot of dudes that's nerds. I know a, a dude right now, man, where he married a woman that was so bad that I was like, damn, like I had to go. I, I like I was like, damn, you know, because he ain't that type of dude. But he got his shit together and he got his bread up. And so she's young and she's ready to have children for this man, you know, and, and she comes from a, a old family where they they were happy to welcome welcome him into the family. And she knows her position. So my, my point to you, ladies, is is y'all want to have y'all cake and eat it, too. So it's fine, Tarot, if you want to date bad boys because we they got this, that and the third. The lame dude don't need to change. He's still win in the end. Right. He still win. The woman who who who's trying to convince you of why bad boys are so appealing, she's the one that lose because she make it into her 30s and 40s. And the men that she wants don't want her. And then she changed her tune. Now she's complaining because the men her age won't date men her age. And so she starts acting like all those guys are trying to trying to uh, mold women and shit like that. When the truth of the matter is, is look, when you was young, you was fucking you had a good time. You did what you wanted to do with your youth. And now you played yourself and you at where you at. So don't get mad now that the guys that you ignore are in a position of power where they can pick who they want. They doing what they want to do. Right. I tell young men, if the girls don't want to fuck you right now, don't worry about that, man. Who cares? Your life is longer than a woman's in terms of your value. Work on yourself, man. Build yourself up. Take care of your body. Get into therapy so that you got you can communicate and you got good mental health. So that you can administer a household, right? Find yourself some good mentors. Start working on your 401k. Buy your first multi-unit because since the girls don't want you anyways, then the school district don't matter. You get a two, three unit home and now you got three, five units rented. By the time you're 30 years old, you don't bought two or three uh, multi-units. Focus on that. Get yourself together. And then when you in your early 30s, you have your pick of the litter. That's a fact, <laughs> Somebody in the comments. I'm not disputing none of that. I'm not disputing none of that. I'm just talking about based on the audio that um, (coughs) Noble played earlier because the lady was asking or she was stating that um, girls love the bad boys or we're not going to sleep with nobody you're not attracted to and alluding to the fact that there's women put good guys in the friend zone or whatever. So I'm not disputing none of what you're saying. Right. Um, we're not inc- and I don't think anybody's encouraging the girls to go for the bad boys. We're just explaining why the bad boys have such a pull on the girls. Right. It's, it's, not, a- it's not because, of, and my point is, Taro, is that it's not because the bad boys have something that the good boys don't. It's because <laughs> girls who go after bad boys have something that good girls, don't have something that good girls do. And what the good girls have is they typically have male leadership who are telling them that, listen, babe, if you sit down at that table and play that game, the house always wins. So don't bother sitting down at that table. And that's why where you have cultures where the patriarchy is strong, you know, I know y'all hate that, and male leadership and fathers are are in control and authoritative, their daughters don't sit up and have babies by Pookie and Ray Ray because the dad didn't provide for his daughter 
for a lifetime for her life so that he can hand her off to some irresponsible man that's exactly. going to impregnate her and not have a and, and not marry her. Right. Someone in the comments. You're said, right. You're right. Yeah. However, all women even like girls that like that because I'm a girl who had has her dad in her life and my dad is African and really strict. Right. So I would have never brought home a boy like that. But that doesn't mean a boy like that when that I'm not attracted to them boys. This is what I'm trying to say to you, Lord. And yeah, you're not hearing yeah, you're what we're saying. You're, you're, you're a woman. You're attracted to that. But you, you, if you, that's the thing. If we, people think that you made as a whole, you're not made as a whole. You made as a part. You're a part of something. So you, when you're young, part of your dating process is your desires and the desires of your family and your father. They're supposed to matter. And so if you just do it with you and the other missing pieces, the vetting pieces, the filters that are supposed to filter out the bad boys, then you go after what made your cookie twinkle. But then if you got the whole mechanism in place where you got some strong men in your life and you go into the dating market, you'll be able to select a couple of guys that make your cookie twinkle. And then when they you get the one that passed your filter and you end up with a good man. Someone in the comments. That Ladarius probably at the house reading his Bible and eating beanie weedies, and here y'all go. <laughs> man, listen, I don't got nothing against Ladarius, man. I don't got nothing against Ladarius. <laughs> no, you you got a problem with Ladarius and Keenan Mom. I know it. Keenan Mom and Ladarius, I don't know what happened. <laughs> listen, no, Black Jesus, I hear what you're saying, man. I'm not and I'm not disputing what you're saying. But what like I think maybe because you came in um, a noble head and played the audio, but we was talking about the audio specific. Well, I was responding to what was going on in the audio specifically. Like we're not disputing that, yeah, um, a lot of women spend their 20s, you know, their youth, giving it away to the bad boys and then expecting a good guy or square or lame to pick up the slack afterwards. We're not disputing that. That happens often. But we were, we was just explaining why it is that bad boys have the pool they have on women because they well, do. Yeah, be, because the women don't know any better. They don't have anybody to protect them. The bad boys represent excitement. They know how to put that good D on them. They're going to they're gonna take real chances and try to get you to do some shit that's fun and all of that stuff. They're going to get you drunk. They're going to get you high. They're going to get you some dick. They know how, they ain't got nothing real going on in their life, so they can sit up and talk to your ass to all hours of the night. Exactly. And then they sit up and breadcrumb you. And now that they got you on a hook, they ignore you just enough to keep you chasing until you drive yourself crazy while they put that D on another girl. Right. And that's fine. That's the game, and that's fine. But if you a girl and you pull into that trap... That's on you. Don't nobody else need to show you no understanding because you was young, right? Nobody is doing that when they did what they were supposed to do, right? And I'll say this one thing, and this is something that's to the fellas. And if you got five male gorillas and five female gorillas, you don't have five couples. You have five female gorillas who all fuck the same top alpha gorilla. And then he gets them pregnant. And then they he has no interest in the girl and he has no interest in the kids. And then the other four male gorillas trying to get close to the women will take care of the babies of the alpha gorilla. That's what they do. And this is something that you see repeat throughout nature. And we see it in human beings. We see a dude that ain't shit, but he has whatever it is that the girl is looking for that attracts her. He impregnates her and leaves her. And then the good dude tries to gain access to the woman by showing that he's stable and he can help her to take care of that other man's kids. And my advice to men is that if you want better outcomes and you want authority in your life and you want traditional outcomes, then you can't deal with women who want to fuck Ladarius. You can't deal with women who want to smash the silverback. You can't deal with women who, who don't believe in body count, who don't have any of those mechanisms in place to try to to limit access to her from bad men. Those women, you don't need to be understanding about how or why they did what they did. You need to leave them alone because your life is about you. It's about you. And who you pick as a partner is the most important thing you're ever going to fucking do with your life. That's, that's it's, it's the most important thing you're ever going to do. When I was in corporate America and I was married, when I divorced my wife, my income nearly doubled. It almost doubled. And the reason it almost doubled 
was because I didn't have to go home and argue because I didn't have to listen to a whole bunch of bullshit because I wasn't getting calls 16 times a day about getting to take the trash out or some stupid shit like that. And that, that once you get the right person around you, men, I got a good woman in my life right now. I got a girlfriend. Right. And we're dating towards marriage. I, you got I got a good. She invited me. I came over today with the kids. She cooked dinner. We cooked dinner. We had or I ate dinner. She gave we had wine. The kids went played in the snow and this, that and the other because it's snowing here. Her and I set out. She made hot chocolate for everybody. And then I sat down and was tired and she cleaned up everything everywhere. And I had my boys get up and help her because she ain't used to having no help. Like when you have a good woman in your life, bro, I am ready for this next coming week. I'm going to kick ass, take names and set the world on fire Monday through Friday because I am replenished by a good woman. And there's a woman that didn't give her body away to a whole bunch of people. She had good sense. She was raised in a Muslim home. Like get yourself a good woman, bro. Get yourself a good woman. And the rest of these chicks, leave them the fuck alone. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. The, The fucking you do ain't worth the fucking you gonna get it's like my father told me if you dance with the devil he don't change you do you ain't got nothing but something to lose dealing with some low quality chick that's trying to get you to understand why she set up and gave ladarius her draws leave her the fuck alone 